Greetings everybody, welcome back to Daddy the Grand, the Granddaddy Plays Dreamscaver. We are going to go for a fire-themed run this time around. We had a lot of banding going on in the past. We had earth banding, we had wind banding. I don't know if this one will qualify as being fire banding because the ability we use is a lot more like fire alchemy from F uh, Full Metal Alchemist. But one way or another we are gonna have a lot of fun. There's a lot of very, very good fire-based abilities in the game, and I hope we will see them all. I also have a shield equipped that every now and then when we get a parry has a chance of setting our enemies on fire, basically. And I know that there can be random... There can be random dashes and dodge rolls that have some kind of fire effect on them as well. So here's me hoping that we will see some of that. And of course, I also have a fire-based ranged weapon going on in here. I have the only fire-based weapon in the game. Good old Boosty Fuego. It's going to roast all of our enemies like crazy. And the boxing glove. I mean, for the moment, it's better than what we already had before. And if you find some kind of melee weapon that also has some extra effect like that, who would I be to be annoyed by that? Let's destroy this. Had a feeling the secret room would be there too. That was part of the reason. That was part of the reason why I was thinking there for a moment. Could the secret room be up in there? I was a bit doubtful, but then I was like, but what if it is there? And it was there. Very happy about that. Let's check it out. We get... Birthday card. Okay. We will leave that one lying around there for a moment. We're just going to earn as much sand on this floor as we can before we pick that up. I think we saw that on the last episode as well, but much, much later into the game, after we have already gotten something very, very amazing. We will not get as rich on this run as we have gotten on the last run. That is a very high probability. But that does not mean that we are not going to try. We already got two fire abilities, the dream. It's also a pretty good one too. Decent abilities on it. Not the best, not the worst either. For the moment, this is as good as it gets. We can just roast our enemies by just applying all the explosions on them. We also get a little bit of extra fire damage on it because we are using Tamal's inspiration. So yeah, we are already setting ourselves up for greatness over here. Bottle rocket, I was not actually thinking about that one. Does a rocket, does an explosion like this actually qualify as a fire-based attack? I don't know. What do you think? At least for the moment, I will definitely stick with the Boosted Fuego because that one is just very obvious about being fire-themed. I don't know what actually deals. Where is it? It doesn't actually deal fire damage, though. It's just regular damage, but it has still a burning effect on it. I don't know if they can stack and how they stack, and to be fair, it doesn't really matter all that much. One way or another, we are going to give the Fear Leviathan a good old roasting once we are going to go and fight him. You know, we might as well fight him just now. It's not very likely, but he could give us that 100% extra sand booster again, and I, for one, would absolutely love seeing that. Let's do it. Pick it up. But man, finding a second fire burst this early already makes me feel super happy. I wasn't even expecting a second fire burst. There's also Detonate, there's also Kilonova, there's um, Skyfall. There's a lot of fire based abilities in this game. This could have gone in a lot of different ways. Look at how he's going to burn into nothingness. Boosty Frag was such a satisfying weapon to use, man. I unloaded all of my ammunition, but you saw the damage creeping in on him. And there he blows. What do we get? Oh, the horseshoe! It's, it's actually very, very good. More crit damage, more critical strike chance. And we are on a fire-based run. We have the chance to get some kind of weapon or something, something that gives us oil effects. And if we then get a critical strike by using a fire attack on an oil top enemy, we actually get huge chunks of damage off of that. Yeah, I am very, very interested in all of this going on right now. 
Let's see if we can realize it all. That's nice, that's nice. We actually need the projectiles back in here, so thank you very much for all those. And there is the shop. Anything fancy in here? That's not bad, but it's also not that good. Crashing rave strikes that actually burn our enemies. Tempting, but not good enough at this point. And where was this on the last run? Where was this on the last run? God damn it. Uh, it's actually kind of insanely hilarious if you think about it like that. Um, there's one more room we can go for. But we need a key for that if memory serves. So we try to destroy some of those destroyable rocks. Where are they? Here they are. Hope to find the key. We did. I was I did not know it would be in this one. It could have been in this one just as well. I was just picking one of them by chance and it worked out for me. Which makes me pretty, pretty happy. Alright, see the room. Hope it's gonna be good. And then we're going to maximize our finances. And it is a new shield. It is not better than mine. Let's be real, my shield is also not that good in the first place. But sure, we keep that one around because it is at least still themed after the run. And now we go for some serious money doubling. There was nothing in the shop we wanted, right? No, there was nothing. There were bombs though, I think I'm gonna buy the bombs. At the very least I'm gonna do that. Because we do not have a lot of them right now. For future expenses, you know. Seems to be a pretty, pretty decent decision to make in here. Yeah, overall it was a very satisfying floor. Found a lot of money. Found our second ability, themed after the run. Yeah, I think we got something good going on in here. There's one problem we will have to look forward solving to. The Boosty Fuego, it is going to be useless against the final boss. Because we will not have the necessary range in order to even damage him in the first place. When we try to get close enough to fire at him, he will just knock us away in the ranged phase. That is going to be a big problem. But I am positive that we will find ways around it. To a degree we already have. We have two fire bursts. They will become very strong over the course of the game. Boom and boom. They will become very strong over the course of the game and will help us out in that regard just by being a convenient range attack to use. He burned to death and I like it. Yes, I do. And this is not interesting. Easy recycle. I'm a simple man. I see a feather footstep, I recycle. Every now and then I give it a short moment of consideration before I recycle. It is just very, very weird to use and usually ends up getting you killed more than anything else. Feather, foot, flip. And I do not get along. If I were to choose between Eden Beam and Featherfoot Flip, I would choose Eden Beam all day. Every day. Every day of the week. Found our shop. Which is very good because we got plenty of money to spend in here. We also found the boss. I think we're gonna fight the bosses first. Come on. I'm going to uppercut you all day long if I have to. Not that I want to, but I can. Coming running my way. Set him a bit on fire there. Got a parry. And one more of those. Kind of just roast me up like this, right? One of them should be almost dead. And they died at the same time. Good stuff. We actually get more fire damage out of the boss item. That's huge. That's actually very, very huge. Okay, check the shop now. That is actually very, very good. I love it when the run comes together like this, man. There are at least two more boss items I can think of from the top of my head that I really, really want to see. Reveals keys inside destructibles. That's actually kind of convenient. The bucket over here is not doing anything for me. Neither is the bulwark of buffing. I mean, it does do a lot for me, but we're kind of married to the theme here. And where was this on the last run? Where was it? Where? I'm just gonna buy this then. I'm gonna buy the bomb as well. We do have plenty of bombs right now, but that may change at some point in the future. So for the moment, 
As long as we have the necessary funds, we may as well just spend away. Boom. Feels good being able to watch up these guys, man. And boom. And punch his face in. These guys are probably the most squishy enemy in the game, so not being able to just quickly dispatch of them with regular melee attacks kind of makes me nervous. A little bit nervous. Not too nervous, though. There is a new rule. And a slingshot. I think we take the new rule because it's just strictly better than the one we already had. And yeah, I'm still on the lookout for some kind of dash attack that has some fire or explosion effect that happens every time you... Ooh, heavy window. I take that. That triggers every time you do use your dodge attack. They do pop up every now and then. I'm usually not that fond of them, but if you find something like that, I take it. Also, we got a free crit there. And I like it. Yes, I do. Short ability cooldowns would also be highly, highly coveted. We do not have a key for this, sadly. But we are bound to find one more key in here somewhere, I think. Also, secret room. Let me think. Secret room could be up there, could be down here. I got a good feeling down here. I was wrong. It's also not up there. In that case, maybe we don't even need a key. In that case, it's probably somewhere over here, right? Yes. That works nicer for me, and it paid for itself. It more than paid for itself, actually. Even better. So we used two bombs in order to find the secret room. We got back one bomb, saved a key, and, well, we would have gotten this Rain of Blades over here, which is a very, very good ability, but not for us right now. What I really would like to see right now is a forge. We have so much money, and we have a lot of stuff we actually want to upgrade right now. So that will be highly convenient. Got quite a nice amount of free crits there too. Yeah, at least in the moment. In terms of bombs, we are set up nicely. Not often anymore that we get this many bombs this early to the run. There's the forge. Do not use your shield. I can. He is burning. I missed him with that though. That was not the play. There you go. And there's a flame shield, a new flame shield. Let's go. Good timing, right in front of the forge, too. Not a particularly good one, sadly, but hey, we take what we can get, right? Alright, lucid attacks, lucid attacks. Boosty fuego. Boosty fuego again. Lucid attacks. Let's do one of those one more time each. And yeah, flame shield, it's not a priority for us. For the moment, we leave it as it is, and then we leave the floor. Looking very, very good in here, I gotta say. Also, not a key in any rock lying around. Have we already found it? Maybe we have? I don't know. We're looking very, very hot in here. The two abilities we have, they will keep us going for a long, long time. Boosty Fuego is also going to absolutely destroy the upcoming boss. Of that, I am fairly certain. And in here, we find one more challenge room over on this side. Let's do it. Ask me to get parries off him. Huh? Okay. Didn't even see you wind up for that one. There's a throw. Kill him. That is not the ability I wanted to throw back at you. Got him. And got him too. Easy as pie. Reveal secret rooms? Sure. It's good because it just saves us bomb in the long run. It also saves us time looking for them. And it may also just save us time looking for specific rooms. There's not. Spin trip resistance. I don't really need this one, so I think I'm going to pick this up and then recycle it for the free sand. That seems to be the best play here. Spinning traps. Honestly, they don't annoy me that much. They're just there. Poison damage, chemistry 101, sure. If you end up getting some poison damage, why not? Do not lose the, your lucid attacks. Fine. Fine. You think I need them? You think I'm not perfectly capable of just burning you to death just like that? 
You son of a gun, I actually got an attack up them. Fine, so be it. I'm going to keep burning you into shreds. And this is a masher. Wettening is pretty much the exact opposite of what we are doing in here right now. But it's still a much better weapon, so we pick it up just for that. There's another forge. Boom. One of them bit the dust, and so did the other guy. Lovely. Some more sand. Let's actually remember that we can see in what rock the keys are hidden in. We do not need to blindly destroy all the obstacles in here. Now, destroy this, destroy that. We are not really destroying them, we're just triggering them, I guess. These two are bombs, that means... Hang on a second. One of these is guaranteed to be a bomb, so this one is not. This is a bomb, so this one is not either. We're done. Easy as pie. Lightning damage. See, that's what I mean. I see a feather foot flip. I look at it long enough to still feel good about rewarding it afterwards. We do not have a key that we can spend in here, which is a bit of a problem. Do not use lucid attacks again, huh? That is a problem, right then and there. Come on, be fast about it. Oh, these guys. Oh no! Ah, I can't parry that attack. There you go. That's the parry I wanted to see. Kill him properly. There. Stupid enemy. Unarmed combat. This one has oil chance on it. And I want that because that will enable a lot of free crits for us. It's gonna be decent. It's gonna be very, very decent. And in here we find another unarmed combat and very strong primal screams over here. I'm actually kind of tempted in getting both of them. Just to run out of all about screaming your enemies in the red face. Revealing special room locations could help us get through the rest of the floor a bit easier, right? Let's take it. Oh man, those two prayer screens were very, very good though. You could absolutely engineer a run about both of them. They have good base damage. And very, very short cooldowns. You can have a lot of fun with that. Destroyed him. And going to destroy you too. Just like that. The double snap. Fire alchemy to the fullest. Now we also found quite a nice array of additional projectiles in here. Come on. Come on. There. There's some question mark rooms up in there. I want to see if one of those is going to be a healing room. If yes, then I will probably recycle that potion lying down there. If not, then so be it, I guess. There's our enemies waiting for us. I like how the one tumbled into the other so we can just perfectly roast them all together. Without any problems happening. We also haven't found the rock that contains the key yet. So that's something else for us to look out for still. We have a few bombs extra. So we can just spend them away in here for more projectiles and more sand. The projectiles, they will come in useful against the boss in a moment. Sadly not a healing room. Can't be helped, I guess. Got some challenge rooms over here, though. It's pretty nice, if you ask me. No way! Ah! Unarmed combat. Very, very short distance. Very, very short attacking range. Got the big guy out, though. And got the small guy out as well. And we find a longbow that we do not want to keep around, so be gone. And do not dodge. I dodged. I dodged. I dodged. I regret having done that. A little bit. Can't be out. It's the way it is. Got one more room. One more challenge, too. Defeat all enemies in the room without taking damage. That should be pretty, pretty doable. Yeah, we can just wait it out over here, actually. And you never stood a chance. Free rewards, free ammunition, and what is this? See, that's exactly what I meant. A uh, weave that has a chance to detonate, dealing fire damage to the enemies. Also has some nice passives on it. And I do not mind having weave. 
It's definitely one of the better dodge rolls in the game. That was pretty convenient. Frost Fracture, where were you on the last run? Where were you? God damn it all. Explosive trap resistance? Sure, why not? Oh man, the game's trolling me. Let me tell you, it's trolling me. I'm going to drink this potion because I like to live against the boss. And then we're gonna have some good times. We're gonna have some very, very good times. Oh! Fired the laser right in my face. Can't be out. Let's see what isolation has in store for us. I think we will have a pretty, pretty decent shot at winning this fight. I feel very confident about this right now. Right about now, I do not think that my man isolation over there has what it takes to take me out for good. Boom and boom. That missed him entirely. Hilarious. How did that all miss you? Come on, man. That looked kind of weird, too. That's the parry I wanted to see. Explosion. Explosion again. One of them was a crit, too. Okay. Now is our time to shine. He's almost dead already. Oh. A lot of ground effects here. And death. Sorry, isolation. This one was just a bit too hot for you. Was fun, though. Was quite a bit of fun, though. Alright, was this... Oh my god, the Nasdaq again! It's a dream coming true. Oh my god, we are gonna get so powerful. We are gonna be so powerful on this run. I love the Nasdaq. Man, every time you see the Nasdaq, it feels like you have won the lottery. Alright, in that case, we are just going to spend away. Upgrading our equipment over here again. And then we are going to leave for the next battle. Oh man, this feels so good. Feels so good, it's frightening. And you know, looking at the run, I am very happy that we got the fur or the second fire burst so early. Because we actually haven't seen any other fire abilities yet. There is, I think, five in total. We haven't seen another one yet. We also haven't seen another Boosty Fuego, because that's actually kind of weird, because I feel the game usually throws them at you for a dime a dozen. Boom. Be safe. Explode him. Be safe here. And boom. And boom. Okay, we got the big one out. Now for the little guy over here. Nice try, nice try, nice try, nice try. And he's dead. Enemies were a bit spread out. That always makes me panic in these kind of rooms a little bit. But we made it. Terror Surge, the icon, does look pretty fire-based. But it is just pure earth bending. So we stick with the unarmed combat because that oiling effect is going to be helpful. And then we're gonna go for our trusty secret room. It has free scent. Sure. You wanna be able to use it nicely. We have to be quick about this run, I guess. That actually hit me. That's a problem. It's fine. Burn to death. And end them both. And it is a slingshot. No, sir. No, sir. We do not want that. We do want this key, though. Always have to find it early on, so we immediately can enter some kind of room that we deem to be interesting. Like this one to the right over here. Could be one of those. It's definitely free to enter, which already makes me pretty, pretty happy. And yeah, you shouldn't have stepped into that explosion there. Was not the play to make, my friend. There is a new roll. That's extra fire damage on it. Do we like that more than the chance to detonate? I think we do. I think I absolutely do. More fire damage up front means that we just insta-kill some of the enemies even more efficiently. And I like that. Yes, I do. I do like the insta-killing potential an awful, awful lot. Just going to roast you a little bit with my boosty fuego. Boom. 
And boo. Oh, fire is so good. If the game would be willing to give me some extra ability cooldowns on top of all that. Do we have any of those in our abilities in here? We do not. Maybe we want to reroll one of our fire bursts in here a little bit. Reroll as in, try to see if we can get some other passive effects on it. Safe here. There! That was the window of opportunity I was looking for. And here's our shop. That was not where that was supposed to go, but that's okay. That is absolutely okay, because he still does not stand a chance. Destroy these, destroy that, go here, do that. And now I'm just going to destroy you over the wall. All the bombs we got early on. I feel like just a nice amount we still got going on is paying off decently in the long run. Freeze duration. Where was that on the last run? Lightning attack. No. Johan's blade. Again with the old chance. And just being a pretty, pretty good sword in general. Hmm. I think I'm going to take it just because it is an immediate upgrade. Also has some other niceties on it, so sure. Sure. Yeah, we do not need the freeze duration though. Go fight the boss. Well, it's not technically a boss, but it will be at some point, that's for sure. Destroy this. Didn't even need to destroy this, I just really wanted to. Alright, let's see. One done there, one done there. There's a big guy trying to be the hero. He's gonna fail. He failed. We did not fail on that parry, though. Did I one-shot the guy? No. Right? No. Right? I did one-shot him. I... Or did I? I can't have. He must have been hit by something else already. Kinda looked like I one-shot him, though. <laughs> it kinda really looked like I did, didn't it? You know what, I will just take pride in the fact that I did it, even if it's not through. Taking a little bit of pride just to carry me through the run, it's gonna be nice. That's another recycle, we're getting nice amounts of money in here. Getting strong, beefy and powerful in the process. Now what will we find over here? Uh, I think this seems to be the best way to go about that. Looks good, looks great, shift around, and then we are done. I like these riddles. I still like them an awful lot. We don't have any leeching effects going on, but if we end up getting some, they will be extra extra strong. Burning leeching effects, what's not to love about that? Save here, use a bomb. That's probably not something you end up saying in real life all that often. Be safe here, use a bomb. Imagine what a wonderful world it would be if we could say those things safely without it having any kind of weird implication. Imagine if bombs were just part of our regular everyday life. Chain effects, we do not have any of those. And free fire damage on everything we do and represent. Who am I to say no to that? Fits the run perfectly. Now, in here, we're gonna find some enemies that are in dire need of some immolation. And please die, thank you. Burnt you once, burnt you once as well. Is that gonna be enough though? That's a big question. It was not. Took twice the effort, but I was more than willing to bring it. And now we're moving our way up to the force, so we can put even more empowerment into everything we already do and represent in here. Double parry of dreams. Always feels so good if we get these up. Always and ever more. I also feel like we are doing a pretty, pretty good job at keeping up the pace on the run right now. You son of a gun. Try to immediately slice me down the moment I showed up. I was two-shotting the big guy there. Perfect in every way. Go for the room up in here first. Just in case there's something good waiting for me in this chest. There is not. It's not garbage. 
Sadly so, but it can't be helped. We're gonna be big spenders in this shop though. Gonna be real big spenders in here, that's a dead idea and promise. Actually, let's see. Ability damage. This one is pretty much bad, so this one we can absolutely reroll. Got even more crit damage, max health, ability damage. I think that's good enough. I would have liked to get some ability cooldown, but I can live without it. It's fine. Maybe we do some more rerolls later down the line, once we do not need the sand on this one anymore. We shall see. Alright, fire burst, fire burst. Kinda wanna upgrade Boosted Fuego as well, but I don't think we need it soon. So it is actually to just keep on upgrading both of our fire bursts. They are both almost at the maximum rank, so we are absolutely going to roast the upcoming floor like it's nothing. And yeah, run is coming together like a charm. We're only seeing one more boss item. There are no, there's only one more boss item I really, really want to see, I think. That's the one that increases the chance for oil and wet and the like effects to apply. I really would like that. And aside from that... Fast food. I want some fast food in this run, actually. Fast food gives every attack you do a chance to oil up your enemies. So that would increase our critical damage potential by a mile. And I think I said it already, but basically everything that gives me short cooldowns, you son of a gun. You need to die. Thank you for doing exactly as I was asking you to. Let's go over here. Another riddle room. This one should not be a problem. Looks like a pretty simple one too. Looks like a very simple one. Like that, we already have the main frame set up. This one was just going pretty much round and round without any trouble. Uh, put that here, and then this one needed to be spun one more time, just like that, and done. No trouble whatsoever. This has higher burn duration, that is not that good. It is also fat of a flip, so just for that it deserves to be recycled. Be responsible, recycle feather flips. Feather foot flips is a proper name, my mistake. And there is one more standing over there, it's a shield hero. Your shield means nothing in the face of my blessed fire burst. Now what's it gonna be in here though? Red chance, that's the exact opposite of what I was asking for. It's not gonna be bad though. And you know, the boosty fuego being for sale in here. That makes me feel pretty, pretty happy about not having upgraded the one we already have early on. So, malware also pretty exciting. I think we're gonna save up some money in order for the boost if we go. If we end up being rich enough, we may also go for the wet chance, just because slowing enemies is always nice. Good stuff. The parry. And... Didn't see that one coming. Should've, but I didn't. That was my B. But I think we made up for that just nicely. Now, let's see how this boss fight is going to treat us. It's gonna be weird. Pick it up. Decent damage out of our fire burst there. Let's see... Pussy Frago doing work in here. Ah, it's not doing as much as I would've liked, but then again, Pussy Frago is also pretty, pretty weak at this point. That was a pretty, pretty strong attack. We're already halfway through, though, so yeah, we are setting a pretty, pretty okay pace up in here. Boom, and boom. Yeah, Fire Burst is carrying this fight just nicely. Shockwave attacks. Shockwave attack. Snap my finger at you. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was a strong play. Knock me into the bomb. I have nothing but admiration for this play. You're gonna burn down now. He's dead. <laughs> Did he? I don't know if you saw it. I actually actively turned away because I'm too cool to look at explosions. That is exactly what I did there. And you know what? I just remembered. Do I really want to buy the Booster Fuego? Because he, it is not going to be good against the next boss. 
That is a big problem. It's not going to do anything against him. Because we will never be able to even get in range for that to do, well, anything. That is going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? What are we going to do about all that? Well, first of all, we're going to recycle this one, even though it had projectiles fire plus one as well. God damn, this game is trolling me right now. Uh, trading some lucid for a key. Good deal. Oh man, I have a little bit to ponder about right now. How do I best treat this topic? Apparently there's a play you can make where you can try to squeeze yourself between a wall and the boss. But that also sounds like a lot of trouble because the boss still keeps attacking you. Between doing those repulsive wave attacks. I do not know how I feel about all that. I do not know. There's some more sand lying around in here somewhere. I do not care. We picked it up. Okay, I cared. That is a new flame shield. Very convenient. Picked up in a heartbeat. A new flame shield is always nice to see in here. Defeat all enemies without taking damage. Now that I can do. So I hope. Boom, before he starts firing lasers. Fire in your face before you before you do basically anything. Anything absolutely deplorable. And now for you. Can we do it one more? We can. Poor guy never stood a chance. And projectiles penetrate. That's at least going to make our flamethrower a little bit better, if nothing else. Oh man, this is a so good range rapids and now the good pass was coming in here as well. This could have been such a great range potential run. But you know what? For the moment I'm just happy about this being a strong... He actually ran the other way. Hilarious. Just being happy for this being a strong firebase run. And he is gone as well. Still got a few more rewards waiting for us down here. Just be safe. Okay, we are safe enough. We are not safe enough. Got these guys out. Nice try there. Nice try. Not good enough, but nice try. Stepped into the red pool there by accident. That was not play either. And slice him down. Only you over there are left. I want to try something out. Attack me. Nope, that still deals damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure we picked up... That knocked me back into him. That kind of looked weird. Pretty sure we picked up an item that is supposed to make me... Immune against explosive trap. There it is. I was looking at the Discord the other day asking what an explosive trap actually is. What constitutes as an explosive trap. We were arguing if these enemies qualify. And now I did give it a try and apparently not so. Could have been the case. It was a good guesstimation. But apparently it's not the case. Learn something new. And I am very happy that we learned this lesson here in a, in a relatively safe environment. Rather than, I don't know, in an actual life and death scenario, I guess. There's one more question mark room over there. Of course, I'm gonna check that out. And then we're gonna apply some more upgrades. I one shot that guy with one dirty crit. He never stood a chance, and I love it. Thanks for this. There's another potion up in there waiting for us, too. And one more bomb, and another health potion. Some resources. And there's also one more key waiting for us for more or less free. But as many bombs we have going on in here right now, I think we can all agree that this is basically free for us. Are we gonna spend it in here? Didn't even see you guys. Do we need to spend a key over here? We actually do. Fine then, so be it. At least this room basically more or less paid for itself. There's another cold snap, that's hilarious. Super slugger and boxing gloves. We are not interested in any of those. Not even one bit. Thanks for the recycle though. All the financial ad is very, very appreciated. And boom. Oh man, it's so good when we get those random crits and just absolutely destroy your enemies with them. Nice try, he died to the burning. 
which also works just as nicely. And yeah, I think we will be able to max out most of our weapons in here. Well, not exactly our weapons, but at least our abilities. Oh, still living. Not for long. That's what I'm talking about. See, they both were thinking. Okay, okay, I'm gonna hit him now. The one guy was coming at me with his katana, the other guy was coming at me with his fist, and both of them failed to deliver. And I love it. Yes, I do. Okay, time for the forge. Actually, before we go to the forge, we wanted to buy a new boosty fuego in the shop. Almost forgot about that. Almost, but not quite. Uh, there it is. Boosty Fuego, heavily outmatching our current run. And then I will see if I can get all the necessary upgrades right here, right now. I don't want to buy the Wet Chance. It's very, very strong, very convenient, but for the most part I would just rather, you know, instantly kill off my enemies. Okay, yeah, three upgrades for all of you. I think that should exhaust most of my resources in here. Do we go for the flame shield or the sword? Let's go for the flame shield in here. I am the shield hero after all. And yeah, we are leaving now. We have seen everything we wanted to see. We are well equipped for the final floor. We are pretty, pretty well equipped now. Our damage is pretty, pretty huge. It is pretty, pretty big right now. And especially if we get those random crits playing out for us. The damage potential is even more insane. Like you would not believe. So, we have a lot of good stuff frontloaded in here right off the bat. Forge is closed, challenge room is closed, some question marks are closed. Shop is closed, boss fight is closed, and I love it. Yes, I do. It was a very, very quick room as well. And we find a new fire burst. Now I feel kind of silly for having gone through all the trouble in here, but not that silly. The fire burst upgrades. We purchased them early and they helped us get through the run pretty, pretty fast. So I am very happy about that. Now, let's see. Looks good. Looks nice. Looks perfect in every way, and with that, we are almost done. Please be decent. It is a new rule with fire damage. It's perfect in every way. Now I feel pretty smart about not having upgraded that in the previous room. Also, there's a question mark. Why didn't I see that? Why wasn't that the first room I ran into? I mean, both of them are question marks. I haven't lost out on anything, but just wondering. Pretty good trait. I think we can actually just rush for the boss right now. The shop will be on the way. I do not really think that the remaining question mark rooms have all that much exciting stuff for us. I mean, they could have, you know? There's always a chance for that to be the case. But you can never know for sure. We are so fast now, thanks to having picked up that new rule. Oh, we had the same thought there. We wanted to blow each other up there. And I can respect that. He had a completely different idea. He wanted to chill me all the way to the bone. It's fine. Because my run burns a little bit hotter than your icy powers can cool me off. Oh my god! That kind of scared me there for a moment. Only a little bit though. Burned you good. Burnt him too. I dodged rolled into a obstacle there by accident. Now I feel silly. Now I actually feel silly about the whole this situation. God damn it. Alright, um Let's actually see what the shop over here has in store. I mean here's the thing. Especially if you make it all the way to the final floor, you still want to flawless it not flawless it. Fully explore it. Just by virtue of the fact that you want to get all the crafting resources for bursting off stuff. 
Okay, that was not it. Come on. Okay, yeah, just attack the wall. Come on, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Don't run away from me. That's not the one I wanted from you. Shoot a spear. Shoot a spear. I want the reward. Do it. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Put down a bump here. Perfect. I love it when they play along with my schemes. And this is projectiles ricochet. God damn it. Oh, man. So much good range attack stuff. It's insane. And in here, we claim. I'm pretty sure this one is extra projectiles fired. No, homing projectiles. God damn. You know what? That actually may be useful. That actually may end up being useful. I don't know if it does anything for increasing the range on our attack. But if it does, it could end up being amazing. This shield... This shield is very, very good because it has ability cooldowns and a bigger parry window. And fire burst. I mean, we already have a fire burst. But this one actually has shorter ability cooldowns too. God damn. There's a lot of strong stuff in here. There's a lot of very, very decent stuff in here. I have to make some educated decisions in order to leverage how to best handle this whole situation. Dodged that without a problem. There's one more up in here. There is. Try to throw a bomb at me. I'm not having that. I'm not all about that life. That is an easy recycle though. Put down a bomb. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to explore a little bit more. There's a few more question mark rooms down here that are easy to access. I'm gonna take them. And as I do, I will contemplate about if and what I want to buy from these rooms up there. We won't be needing the forge anymore, that much is for sure. I am also not going to need my shield in this room, apparently. For better or worse. Yeah, it's still not quite reaching all that far. Even with the penetration effect working in my favor. Can you just die? Because otherwise I always feel tempted to just parry your stupid attacks. The impulses, man. They are so strong. Open this up. And it is a Skyfall. Now the game is actually bringing some novelty into the mix. The Skyfall, you can see it's strong, but it has a much longer cooldown. Do we let the Skyfall on our enemies? Let's do it, just to bring in some variety in here. Let's do that, just for sake of variety. And in here we find what? Medicine Ball! My god, that is such a strong run for range attack runs too. God damn it, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm going to pick it up and it's going to hopefully do something for us. Also found the secret room over here. It's just free healing, but it also enables us to go into this room just freely. And this room contains what? Firecracker. I mean, the big question is, does Firecracker qualify as a fire weapon? It kind of does, but I don't think I want to. Begun. Go for the shop one last time, and then we are going to end it once and for all. Got a lot of money in here. Got an awful lot of money. Um, let's just take the homing in here. Take the homing and the shield. I think I'm going to have to take the shield. The flame shield, it really didn't do anything. Let's do it like this. Anything else we need to do? I do not think there was. Yeah, I think we can leave it all like that. Boss fight time! I haven't had, I haven't used the Skyfall in a hot hot while. This should be weird. So in a perfect world, I will try to... I don't even know if that's going to work for me. I would like to get a big crit with that Skyfall if possible. Just to see how hard it can chunk. Let's see what she's taking away from us. That was our sword, I believe. Alright, so be it. It's going to make this very, very rough for all parties involved. 
So, let me try to wedge myself into this corner. Ah, uh, she just teleported herself away immediately. That did not work out for me at all. That didn't do that much damage. But the dart effect is... Doing at least a little bit. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. And then she knocks you back and then those small projectiles all hit you. She's gonna knock me away again, right? I kinda thought she would. I thought that would deal a bit more damage, I gotta say. Knock me away again. If you could give me back my sword so I can fight you properly, that would be very nice. I feel like she's spazzed out there for a bit. Yeah, that doesn't reach her at all. She gives me back my sword. Good stuff. Please send it over. Also, don't be a scum like that. Thank you. Ooh. Perfect parry. That was a crit. I heard that. I heard that crit and I love it. Where's she at? Nice try. Come on. Just kept my shield up high and there. Another Skyfall. Ruined the parry there. She's gone again. And the parry of dreams. Keep slicing away at her. And she's dead. Did I break the game? I think I broke the game here for a bit. Can I skip past this? I was able to skip past this. Good. We actually broke the ending cinematic there somewhere. It's hilarious. Man, I just like breaking stuff. And I kind of expected this. This one was also one of the fastest we have played thus far. 44 minutes and 52 seconds. It's pretty, pretty good. We did not go for a full completion towards the end there, but we also did not need to do that. And I think that was a pretty, pretty big part of it all. Guys, this was a firing hot run. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I've been Daddy the Grand. You guys have been awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. But until then, have the greatest of days. And please, stay as awesome as you are.